Pada nai faham malogi, omu gay fala lamai ke, ke hoko ko ham ni angau ke, faham hoko atau aki ay, fikau ko mai he kike. Pagu lau ko tobe, time ko tobe, ko tau te lava mai ke ni, ko kita to on ma ma, kau ko efang amari ke, ke faham hoko atau, angai me aku angai he ki o, o tu ko hoko loto, pagu faham malot kasies, kau ma o timi. Hei kau nunggu ngaco, kau tahu faham lo, ngaco, mai hei eki, hamil kita tahu faham hoko, kau tahu mite ne tala, hei kau ngaco, kita tahu lah, kau tahu faham tu, kau tahu pe, kau tahu foi, kau tahu lo dosi, kau tahu liak siak, kau kau ni kau tahu ni fiha, kau faham mata mai televisyen ni, faham wa faham kafe, kau kau ngaco mau pegu lang lang iya, faham faham mai kita tahu, kau kau faham lo, hei ngaco kau mau fai, hei kau tui kau tui faham papa, kau kau tahu fai dah, kau tahu iloi. Ae lain yang kau mai hegi kita tahu leri ay, patau leri ay. Pake ilo lain yang kau leri ay, patu kau leri awai. Pake wakaya tu ke feitu ukel mau leri ay, patu ke mau leri ay. Patau fe pou pou aki ay. Hei tahu milah, hei tahu pihe, kau tahu fah, fah tahat hamah fah mea tahat, kau tahu fah tahat ay. Kau tahu fah tahat, hei tahu fe ilo ngaki, patau fe pou pou aki. Hei kau mai hegi tak kita halova, tak kita leri kita tahu leri. Pake tahu leri kau ya, patau fe pou pou aki ay. Um, it time that I'll be go core be more ke why to go ahead na lava mai on five ka go ni ke fa ho be more ke tau ki fa to nga me fa pa lang ko nga ke na lave e tau e tau malanga ko fa i he ko nga ko na be he ko ko tau ki me be tau to fa to nga ko to ko me ai na pure anga e ki and so I'd, I'd like to welcome the two pastors from one from South Africa one from Fiji is that correct yeah and I'm going to try and, 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 and sort of flip back from English to, to, to Tongan so that I want to include you because this is, this is about, this is kingdom business. It's not just a Tongan thing, but it's kingdom business and we all need to understand. I believe God wants to minister to us, minister to us this morning, or tonight. Yeah, amen, amen. Amen. <laughs> Balawa beke tau hanu, balawa beke tau siot, beke hagai mea oi giu ni hanga fraho ko. These are very dire times and it's very, and we question a lot of things in terms of what God is doing. And most of the times that we don't get an answer. But it's okay to question. Wafu sai beke tau fehu i, sai beke tau fehu i, eko hameu pehe ai mpehe ai ye. Jesus questioned his father, why have you forsaken me? He didn't get an answer. But... Because his faith was placed in what God had called him to do. But I believe God is wanting to reveal to us in certain times that we need to change our perspective to see what he's doing in times like these. Hei kau tui kau pore kau kita tau lu ke diri we tau fah kau kau mu tau sio ke tau wakai yang ek heme a eki une fah kau kau ingat time peheni. See a lot of the times that we we complain and we question and say God why have you forsaken us? But say God can you show us what you are doing? Tau pe eki ku tau han we tau milah kau tau pe eki kau han na heme aku hanga fai. And I'd like to say that God is doing amazing things here in our nation. Think of all the impossibilities that we had encountered that we thought it would never happen. But it has happened. We thought we can never break our traditions. We could never break the way we do things. We could never break out the way that we think or the, how, way, the way we see things. But it just happened. And I believe what an amazing opportunity for you and I to move because God is moving. 
And I think it's much easier now because our mind is actually, I don't know, it seems like that we're unstable, we're floating, but God says, no, because I want you to move where I'm moving. Because you know it's much easier in order to steer and to direct a, 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 a moving vehicle than it is to, 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 to try and drive a stationary vehicle. See, but when we are moving and when God's moving, say, hey man, I can move. Yeah, you can move. Even if you think it's impossible, it is possible. Are you still with me? But See, See, I believe that God is calling us in such a time as this. I, I had this message about three or four weeks ago. And then I went onto YouTube and I saw someone else preach the same message. And I'll go, oh, God must be speaking. But this message that I believe that God gave me said, it's time to move from being a Christian to being a Jesus follower. <laughs> You see, I believe it's time to move from being a Christian to being a Jesus follower because being a Christian is a noun. It's actually a naming. It's a label that we put on ourselves. We put on ourselves. Are you a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian. Why? Because I've been going to church all my life. Why? Because my parents are Christians. Why? Because I'm supposedly growing up in a, in a Christian nation. You see, we come to a place of where we've got to understand the Bible never tells us to be Christians. The Bible never teaches us to be Christians. I don't know. Does, does the Bible say that? Does the Bible tell us to be teach us to be Christians? There's one stage. There's, there's, there was one incident in Antioch in the book of Acts. Na <laughs> You see, this whole term Christian, Christianity, it, it was actually a derogatory term of which they called, they tried to find a word in order to, to label people that were following Jesus because they were different. But even today, it's pretty hard for us to Pin down what is a Christian? Hey, about it, we got go high Christian. Mahalo, a kehe hotari, a kehe hotari, a kehe hotari, a kehe kehe tautari. Hey, we got kapau reva koya, a mangatunga no iloa, a ugo Christian, a kehe kehe tauma, a kehe Christian. See, if I was, if, 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 I, if we relied on the actual label Christi, to be a Christian to, to, so that we could be differentiated from everyone else, it actually, it's actually dependent on what our interpretations are. But you see, followers of Jesus, it's actually quite clear. 
You see, in the Bible, Jesus says, come and follow me. And I'm going to give you the stipulations of following me, what it means. You see, I believe it's, if we are going to move, we've got to move now. Before we find our feet again, and then the old normal becomes normal again, because we're currently in a new normal. I believe we're in a new normal. And if we are to go into a new normal, it's going to be you and I. One of the things that we've, let's shift our mindset in regards to thinking, I'm a Jesus follower as opposed to a Christian. You see, he gives us he gives us a few pointers. If we go to to Mark to Luke uh, to Matthew chapter five, it talks. Jesus gets all the people, all his followers. Do you, guys, do you guys know that your ancestors used to say this? And Jesus brought them together and he, and he, and, and he began to go through some things that he, that he quietly stated and he said, your ancestors would say this. It is said that this is this. But I have not come to do away with all of those things. I've come to fulfill those. Remember, these are his followers. In fact, he was saying to them, hey guys, if you are going to follow me, this is what it means. But I won't go there tonight. <laughs> because if we're going to be followers of Jesus, the first thing that I want to point us to is that it's going to be the making of us. See, before we followed Jesus, we had an idea of what our purpose was. Today I'm going to repurpose you. Today I'm going to give you a fresh purpose. Today I'm going to take what you've always been done and I'm going to repurpose it. I'm going to repurpose you. I'm going to give you. You were fishers of fish. Now I'm going to call you to be fishers of men. I'm bringing your purpose. I'm bringing what you have known and what you have done in the past. And I'm going to repurpose you because this is what I call you to be. You see, he repurposes our what? And he gives us a new why and a how to our what?
I don't know, you could be a teacher by trade. But now I'm going to repurpose you because that's my story. You see, I'm a teacher by trade. And I, be, and I taught for over 10 years until I met Jesus. And then Jesus repurposed my purpose. I thought I was a teacher for life. I thought I was the man to be in the, in the marketplace. And then he says, yeah, you are still a teacher, but this is your new. You are going to teach people to be followers of me. And I go, whoa, new purpose. You see, following Jesus calls us to leave and to move. And before get out, Christian, get out, don't get out, move, move, Hey, we we can be Christians, but we don't have to be followers of Jesus. Isn't that right? Are you a Christian? Yeah. What are you doing after this? Everything that's not following Jesus. You see, following Jesus calls us to leave and to move. It's actually a verb, it's a doing word. We've got to be doing something. It's not just a label. I can't call myself a follower of Jesus if I'm not following Jesus. It's a verb. It's a doing word. And so when we follow Jesus, we have to leave something in order to move into something. You see, in, in, in Matthew chapter 8, verse 22, he says, Pe <laughs> You know, a lot of things, we put conditions on our following Jesus. But by our following Jesus, the simple says, you've got to leave some stuff and you've got to move somewhere. You know, there's got to be a leaving and there's got to be a moving. And he goes, Kaorewa mua si isu. Orewa mua. Katari a si isu. Orewa mua si isu. Katari a si isu. Mui mui koi kia te au. Pea tuku ke kau mate. Ke nau tanu. Amate. You know, because if you've got to leave, you've got to leave. You see, following Jesus calls us to leave our old values. Because he repurposes what we, what we value. I don't know what you're still holding on to. Whatever I could not be doing what I'm doing now if I didn't leave some stuff. See, if I still held down to the things that Jesus um, challenged me to leave behind, and, and I wouldn't have moved, and if I wouldn't have moved, I wouldn't be here. I'll still have been in a nine to five job, bored to my eyeballs, doing whatever, whatever, 
paying off a mortgage and having no purpose in life. What, where could you be if you were to tell him to leave stuff and you were left it behind to follow Jesus? But most of us are still sitting where we are because we didn't want to leave our values. You know, I remember when we, when, we, when we were packing our stuff to come here and my family would say to me, hey, why are you leaving? Why are you going back to Egypt? Because this is the promised land. This is the land that's flowing, flowing milk and honey. And I said, I said, no, no, I'm following Jesus. If it means going back there, that is my promised land. You see, when we follow Jesus, not only do we have to leave what we used to value, we have to leave what we trusted. Yeah. See, Matthew, Matthew chapter 9, verse 9. Jesus comes along to Matthew and Matthew says, hey, hey, come, come follow me. We all understand that Matthew valued money. Lord, don't know for Matthew you see, he left what it is that he trusted in. What are we still trusting in? I know that he fell are we still trusting in our relationships? Are we trusting in what we know? Are we trusting what we have in the bank? Are we trusting in, the, in our own strength? Are we trusting in our relationships? Because Jesus said, hey, come follow me. Come follow me. Because we can still be a Christian and still trust in the things that we put our trust in rather than trusting Jesus. You know, because when we follow Jesus, we actually leave the things that we, that, that we trust and we begin to swim, we begin to re go out into the deep and in the deep our feet do not touch the ground and if we either swim or we sink but we say, Jesus, you led me here. I left the comfort of the shore to come out into the deep. Jesus, you got and Jesus, oh, I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> Where are we going to put our trust? 
She fell on Jesus requires our all. Fe ma ho ta u kotoa. Ma di wa heta no. Me si wa fao. Tala no ai. Se pia to gire asi su ke ne ka wa ko pe he. Ka e hata ha ne fie mu mu mai. Ke ne matu aki hange ha mate aki. Pa ke fu wa no kolosi. Pa ke ne hoko ko gulai. You see, Jesus doesn't make it easy to follow him. He actually says it's hard to follow me because you've got to carry your cross every day. Not once. Wake up in the morning. Where's my cross? Go. Wake up in the morning. Ah, be bong bongi. Go rock me up with tau fa. Get gol. Feel golos. Feel golos. My. Fu wa my. Because that's what he said. You can be a Christian and not carry a cross. Love begin Christian dia kata dok dok golos ya. Golos begau tau ki golos tau tau he. Kalau di golos we he. You know that sometimes that's the only cross I carry. It's the cross that's hanging on my neck or the cross that's dangling down my ear. See, Jesus, following Jesus requires our all. It requires that we leave everything behind. Matthew 19, 21, 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 Matthew 19, See, if you want to follow me, says Jesus, you've got to come and follow me. You've got to leave everything, sell everything, give it away. And sometimes it's literal, sometimes, most of the time, I hope it's, it's not literal. <laughs> I hope it's not. Because I wouldn't have anything left. fuck <laughs> If, if God blesses us, come on, enjoy a little bit of it, enjoy some of it, but you still got to say, this has a purpose. See, God says, the Bible says, don't muzzle the ox while he's treating the wheat. Thresh. The <laughs> Perea taha ko luke vaha hiva vesi ono taha perea e taha kehi foki eiki te mui mui kia te koe ka ki tuku mai mua ha tuku mai mua ke ufai e tatau kia te kinau tolu i api ka pehe si isu kia te ia ko ia o kuala ke whakauri o e palau mo kilo kilo ki henga hai mea i mui o ki kai te nau tuha you see, one guy comes to Jesus and said, Hey, can you just wait? I just gotta say goodbye to my mates. You know, have a last little faigava. Have a last little thing, you know, have a last little fling before I come. And Jesus says, Hey, whoever puts his hand to the plow to follow me and starts looking behind to what they want behind it, it's not worthy to follow me. Come and follow me. You see, Jesus wants our all. 
Following Jesus requires nothing short of our all. O we can't get down because muy muy kasi isu ne fi mau hotau kotoa. Man, I'd rather be a Christian. They they know for bear Christiane. Kai yo fi muy muy au kasi isu. Fai ngo fu ang Christiane ya. He la ba be ke tu ang da sa pa te Christiane pa alolotu. Pa foki mai pego to oia. Because following Jesus is a verb and it's a doing word and it's, it's an action that we do every single day, every moment. You see, but we can give our all to Jesus, but we've got to also understand our all is a work in progress. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's a work in progress. Oh, no, we have to say, Kotoako he ahoni. Oton ke ki hulwang ehu kotoa ni afi. Na hu kotoako apung pongi. Oton ke hulwang ehu kotoa he ahoni. He fao du tu pe mui mui ka kalaisi. See, we've got to understand that our all is a work in progress and we can't sort of be down on ourselves if our all today says, oh man, I couldn't do it. Tomorrow, come on, give your all tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, our all is a work in progress and our all is not comparative. Oh, we can't get behaved. She had a yaw, because she is a lah young and any cotoa and a yaw. Can't get hungry, get muy muya wakalaisi. You see, sometimes we compare our all to someone else's all. And we feel down on ourselves, but following Jesus is giving my all, not their all. Yeah? If I. Sometimes we, sometimes we call our relatives, hey, Mark, you say, you need to go to the We are, we ring around it. And I said, no, no, just give your all. Your all. Yeah. Not your family's all. Your all. Because you're a follower of Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> See, God wants our all. But it's not comparative. But what you pay for that, that, We can't give tomorrow today. Let's give our all today. You see. I'd rather be a Christian. I don't want to move to following Jesus because it's too hard. It's impossible. I'm going to challenge you to go and read Matthew 5. I'm going to challenge you go and read Matthew 5. You see, we will fail move following Jesus. The Tauto no no him we move a galaxy on the we can talk about we move guy go they go we lot about the Tauto no no we will fail. Even his disciples failed. Peter failed. Mati wai wa no the move move to guy ya pita me mama o. Time no talk ya da si su. Si toy toy ya da pita me mama o move move. Came move move pe still following from afar but from a distance. He was still following. Are we sometimes like that? Yeah? Okay. Maybe I'm not holy enough because I sometimes follow like that. I follow from a distance and I follow from the corner and hide. You see, Peter followed him from a distance. 
to a point that they asked him, you know that guy? And he goes, no, I don't. Na mui mui o ta pita me mama o pe au ke tunga he tau ilo he talanoa ya madi wa he wano i he tau lau ke talanoa ko fika mo bida Matthew chapter twenty six. We talk about how Peter followed from a distance to a point that he denied Jesus not once, not twice, but three times. But na mui mui o pita ko ya ke Jesus. But na kai ke ni hanga fa fisinga Jesus tu ota kana tu ota tu owa tu otolu. Tau fa be. That's why I'd, I'd settle for being a Christian. Because I can follow from afar. I can disown him. But I'm still a Christian. In my thinking. See, the good news is that we can follow Jesus to a point where we fail but he's always coming around to restore us. So go 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 lere ye no si su. He la be ke ta muy muy ga si su. Ne on ne fai ngata pa ne on ta malava do on ta malava pa ne on ta to no no but ne on ta hona fa fi singa i pa ne on ta ta fok me ai ka un ne to ta fok i mai pe on to ha o fa ga fok i ki ta to lu. See, he's always there to restore us. Mantoi, three times Peter denied Jesus. Two or three on the face of his eyes, he beat us. He saw. But on the face of my eyes, Peter go. Can you go see your brother? He saw. On the face of my eyes, go. Oh, what two or three more? Peter heard the the rooster crow three times, and he realized that he has failed in following Jesus. Peter went away disappointed. Fokata Peter go to he for no lot to. Can he tangi la tangi a lot lot to Peter. Go go to no no. He muy muy gasisu. And so what does Peter do? He goes back to fishing. Kara me a Peter na fai go fok never get fok never get to tai. He goes back to what he was doing before he followed Jesus. Are we sometimes like that? See, but the great thing is Jesus comes looking for Peter. Tau foki pe kita tolong ke mereka nak tahu yai. Baga pau kui yai. Fatong ayu tau foki atas isu aku bingoi. Baga tau foki atas isu kau yai. Baga mian kau talan noai he. Shone wahai wataha. Besta ni ma ke taha hiwa alwa je. Besta ke wan ni ma. You know, if we were looking the, the book of John, chapter 21, Jesus comes looking for Peter. Jesus comes looking for the one that was following him. Jesus comes looking because he says, it's, it, it's time to restore him. It's time to give him his purpose back. And he comes to him and he says to him, Jesus, he says, Peter, do you love me? See, we've got to, we've got to understand. There are all these words that, Ihera fa palangi ofa pe, mo fa katonga ko ofa uta pe. Kago ni ako na na hiki meya yeto higo ni fa karisi ko ofa ay ofa. Pagko fa ofa ni uwa ngawe ag hetalano ako ni. Ko fa ofa ita ko agape lab, agape lab ko ofa agape ko ofa ya ko ko fa otua ofa rio ko kito ko kaya me to fa fo makako ofa pe tunga agape lab. But my offer to him, I now have a new guy. Filet of love, go filet of love, go offer for a togoa, offer for a kaunga me ape. Get here, me here. Be at the sea, so get a get a bit a bit a. I go get a cape out. Are you a cape love me? Do you a cape love me? Do you love me regardless of all of these things? I wonder how Peter felt. How am I going to get Peter to come go ya? Get how I get my. Peko ofa tu nga ako kaya nukos ilo emya na hoko. Kamo ko ay kaya may mga kaya ka upang mga hangyo tawo sa lotos. 
I mean, imagine if someone you knew he knew he knew you turned away from you. Peter, do you me? Peter, Once, Jesus, feed my lambs. How far far can I be? Fight back now. Fight on you. Round the bay. Peter, I go get a cape. How? Peter, do you a cape on me? Peter goes, Oh Jesus! Why are you lying there? You go off. I I I I feel I owe you. Foi tua ulo aqui perto de Jesus. O que é que ofa faca a capa mais gal perto de Jesus perto da vida. Cai go ofa faca filé eu dá o que é. Ofa faca o gato gato pe. Do perto tua. É pita. O que é ofa faca a capa mais perto. No no no. I feel I owe you. Go ofa faca filé eu faca o gato gato pe ao. Number three. Jesus says to Peter, Peter, do you feel I owe me? You see, Jesus was ready to come down in the expectations of how we relate to him to a point where we can relate to him. He didn't hear me. Nahanga si Isu alu me tunga malunga taha o ofa pane fato nga he kai ke au ki ya pita pane pe te uholo ke tunga go ku ya pita ku nga ke mafeho ko ta ki ai he ko fato nga ke fa fo ki ya kwa ko fato nga ke nga ta palasia ke ilo u kai ke kai ke ofa pe ya au he ko nga fa fi singa ya au You know Jesus is ready to come down to your level so he can connect with you See, you can you can deny him three times; he'll restore you three times. He goes to the hang of the hang of the fishing eye. The tau mava him he tuo tol tuo teau. He how fuck tuo teau mai, but then tuo vakai tuo teau what? See, Jesus gives us the opportunity. Neo mai kaki tau tol fai. I I I fuck a ta mu fai ngofu kaki tau tol be. Neo mu pekai tuo lahi. He tau hang of the fishing eye. Neo mu pekai tuo lahi. He tau mava him he ai. However large, however however many times Jesus is able to come. Three times Jesus, and Peter denied him. Three times Jesus reassured him. Reassured him. And he was ready to come down to our level. Thank you, Jesus. I'm nearly finished. Opine begu meosi. Fa fisinga itu otolu. Fa kafogi itu otolu. Akape maya si isu. Filei yo dupe apitaya. Pe holo a si isu me he. Ofa ma alunga taha. Kene pe ae. Pita. Ogi ofa fa toko uwa mai kao. Pe a pita iyo. Kwa ofa ka teko uwa. Kwa ofa toko uwa ka teko uwa. Ka pehea tu lewa si isu. Ka hiri nerea ki ai. Na ne folo fola ki a teia. Pita. Ha mui mui mai kao. At the end of that verse. Jesus says, Peter. Come. Follow me. Let's go again. Let's go again, Peter. Because every time he asked, he said, I want to reestate your purpose. Fuck him, I see you. If I fuck it out, I'll look at you. And then he will get it out. I'll look at you. And then he will get it out. I'll look at you. And then he will get it out. I'll look at you. Why did we follow him in the first place? Because he loved us. But then he will get it out. He will get it out. Because he will get it out. He will get it out. Thank you.
Let's go again. Come on, let's go again. Because Jesus brought Peter back to the place and he gave him the why again behind the what. Why did you follow me? Because you loved me first, Jesus. Because you invited me to follow. You gave me purpose. You gave me the why that was bigger than me. But you gave me the and Peter and Jesus, come, follow me. How we move it down? If we want to be followers of Jesus, because He's calling us, we always see so get out, talk it out, walk on the ground, move, move. I can't repurpose my life. Can you love our Maha Uhinga Kek Moi? Time will hear you when I marry you, love Ariaki. You see, some, to summarize tonight, said, I need Jesus to follow Jesus. Because if he's called me to follow him, I need him to follow him. I need him to empower me. And Jesus, yeah, that's okay. Don't worry. I've already thought of that. Jesus, I've already thought of it. Because it's better that I go back and that my, and, and, and my father is going to send the one that's going to comfort, that's going to help you, that's going to bring you so that you can enable and empower you to be my followers. See, I need you, Jesus, to follow you. And Jesus, that's okay. I give you my Holy Spirit who will empower you to follow me. Because it's impossible to follow me. Don't settle for being a Christian. I don't need Jesus to be a Christian. But I need Jesus to follow him. I'm lahia, Christiane beawega kwa yu mui mui kai kai kufema wa kalais ke mui mui ka kalais ke hoko ka Christiane. Ka ko fema wa bita si Jesus e tai mo menit ko tope. Ka pau te fema ke hoko ko mui mui o kalais. It's time to move. Ko tai ngeta unga unu. Ka pau ka ngeko ki ta ta pa te beho vai. Come on, ngau vai. Ngau e tai. It's easy. Fai mo fuwa unga unu e tai nimi. We need to acknowledge what Jesus has done on the cross, the finished work, because that was what enables us to be followers of Jesus. He's already done the work. We just have to receive and accept it. I thank you, Pastor, that you brought us to lead, to invite the Holy Spirit here because he is vital. He is necessary. We cannot follow Jesus without his Holy Spirit. You know, the gospel is not just for those people that we think that's out there in the world and don't know Jesus. The gospel is even for us that we think we're Christians because we need Jesus. We need the good news. We need the work that Jesus has done. 
Você viu o campeonato de algum clube botar um rei fofão lá? Mas não faz, é logo quando eu pago o gol, eu vou ir aqui, com o clube fofão lá, me feito o que é aí. Mas não faz, é logo quando eu vou ir aqui. Pago o rei, é logo quando eu vou ir para me falar, é meni, mas bem que aí. É que isso, eu vou falar mal, eu vou te coer. Na que eu vou te coer, eu vou te coer, eu vou te coer. Pagi aku mai kima mani, kerja peki ayah kau, mula ring hot ata aku hinga kau, kau kima tol. Kita tong ya ke mau ngah yang ahala, ngah ahala nak kau tope. Ngah yang ahala kau hiri, ngah yang ahala mau lu tong anuan way. Mungah yang ahala kau mana ke mau hangat kau ayah kau kau. Tapi hene pehi kau mau hangat kau te koe. Ka mautari ka kato a ngā ue oski a verenga ku whahoko e kolosi. Mautari ka kato ia ku vete ako maungutu. Koe alo koe o tua ku mo ui. Na ki hifo mai o pekia ta riringho tata ngā ko mautolo. Pa ku tuita e toe vei vei ua ho mauloto. Na ke toe tu me he pekia. Pa ko ia si su. A vete ho mau ngutu he aha ko e fiafi ko ini. Mau fakata e mau moui pa mau tari ko ke hu mai o eik mo taloni he mau ngai moui takta. Peko e mau lot ko, peko e mau fai lot ko ini ko e ulang tai men, peko e tuo fihang e awa ken e mau fai lot ko ini. Eik ko mau ilo yo ke hu mai pa ke tari lotu ke ki mau tolo. Mau ta foki me ngayang, mau ngayang au hala no ko toa pe. Pa ku mau ilo yo eik e mau to no no ko uhinga u mau fi ma u ai ko e. He ko koe ke hanga whakakato ki mau tolo. Ta ku maka tūnga e mau māo ni oni ke mau tū he ao e tamai u hi ngā ko koe. He ko kau māo ni oni ki mau tolo i he eiki i a te koe si isu. O ku mau māo e ki aki i a te koe si isu. Ke mau lava tū o whawhe hanga i he tamai. Maka tūnga pe ho ngāo e nai o si ko lava. Ta koe ia eiki e mau lotu i he fiafi koe ni. Pagalot ho no wa, amen, amen. Pagalot ho no wa, tau whakata api he lau mare manio ni. Ka pau kei heni, pau kei he wakai mai mei api, kou tui e kwe e uma fai la he lau mare manio ni, kene la ve e ko he fei tupe o kei ai. I believe the Holy Spirit has the power to minister and to touch and to fill you wherever you are. At home, right here, or wherever you may be. But if you want him, let this be your prayer. And you may say amen at the end of this prayer. Come on, let's pray. Holy Spirit, I give you permission to come. Fill me. Baptize me. Empower me. Teach me, comfort me, be the paraclete that stands next to me to encourage me every step of the way. Kikihoko ko tohotaha tu tafa aki. Fakaloto lahi i au, fakaivi i au, fakamanatu ma moa ipeka te au a sisu a kalaisi. Ko fakataha e ko mo ui ki a te koe. Kikihoko ko kapa ni ofi. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Come on, if that's your prayer, just say amen. amen. Wherever you are. Holy Spirit. Just, just for a few moments. Holy Spirit, just receive him. Holy Spirit. Lau Maria Atonai Siova. Fill us, empower us in the name of Jesus so that we may be followers of you, Jesus. Thank Thank you, Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. Malu apa itu? <laughs>